Are we really comfortable about corporations knowing all about our health? If you're dealing with a serious illness, maybe it's something you and your family want to keep within the bosom of your family and not spread to the whole world. The companies are collecting this much information on their own is very troubling to me. But Mr. Pompeo apparently wants to go even further. Last January, he published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal in which he wrote, and I quote, Congress should pass a law reestablishing collection of all metadata and combining it with publicly available financial and lifestyle information into a comprehensible, searchable database. Legal and bureaucratic impediments to surveillance should be removed. End of quote. Wow. What we are talking about is the United States government having, in many ways, more information about us than we may even understand about our own lives. In many ways, Mr. President, it sounds to me that we are moving toward an Orwellian society where between the government and the private sector, there is very little about ourselves that is not known by somebody else. And I am very, very uncomfortable about that. And I want at the head of the CIA, somebody who understands thoroughly the Constitution of the United States and privacy rights, and understands that we can fight terrorism effectively within the Constitution and privacy rights guaranteed to the people of our country. Mr. President, since June of 2013, here is what we have already learned that the NSA collects, and that is phone call metadata, including the numbers of both parties, my number and the number of the person I call, location, time, and duration of that telephone call. NSA has access to text messages, email, chat, and internet browsing history, smartphone app data, including map data, which can pinpoint a person's location to within a few yards. They have data, they have maps of people's social networks, bank and credit card transactions. That is a lot of information held by the government and or private sector on the personal lives of the American people. To make sure that if somebody is a suspect in terrorist activities that we go after that person as strongly and as effectively as we can. But I believe from the bottom of my heart that we can do that without invading the privacy rights of the American people. It is just not acceptable for senator after senator to come up here and say, we are defending freedom. We live in a free society and then vote to allow the government or the private sector to have an unbelievable amount of knowledge about each and every one of our personal lives. Mr. President, now more than ever, it is vital to have a head of the CIA who will stand up for our Constitution, stand up for privacy rights. Unfortunately, in my view, Mr. Pompeo is not that individual. And with that, Mr. President, I would yield the floor. Mr. President. Senator from Oklahoma. Mr. President, our